There is a generalized haze in both lungs with hardly any normal tissue visible. There is a very poor definition of blood vessels. Even the larger vessels in hyla are not visible bilaterally. Transverse diameter of heart is a bit bigger than half of the internal diameter of chest or I can say the cardiac size is a bit bigger than the hemidiaphragm suggesting cardiomegaly but notice it's a mobile chest x-ray uh, done on patient's uh, bedside and is essentially an AP projection and the cardiac enlargement could be because of projection rather than the actual representation of cardiac size on the film. Bilateral haziness is because of presence of fluid in air spaces which should normally contain air. Although there are few differential diagnoses, the appearance in this case is because of acute pulmonary edema. Pulmonary edema can be a result of acute changes and it is known as acute pulmonary edema in that case or can be a result of chronic process. Pulmonary edema refers to leakage of fluid from pulmonary veins into surrounding tissues which initially happen around vessels which decrease the clear definition of vessels in early phase. Later on fluid enters into the alveoli of lungs causing ventilation perfusion mismatch the actual uh, actually the ventilation perfusion mismatch happens as soon as fluid enters interstitium because a diffusion cannot occur but it is more profound when the fluid enters into the alveoli of lung uh, and because alveoli of lungs are filled with fluid the oxygen cannot be absorbed by the blood vessels that are surrounding the alveoli which cause hypoxemia means low level of oxygen. Interstitium of lung is a connective tissue and holds lymphatics as well as blood vessels. Lymphatics are responsible for absorbing excess fluid. Leakage of fluid from vessels into interstitium is a natural process and happens regularly but the excess fluid is absorbed by lymphatics at a rate of 10 to 20 milliliter per hour but then there's a limit as to how much fluid can be absorbed by lymphatics in a given time most common causes of cardiogenic pulmonary edema are left ventricular failure and mitral valve stenosis left ventricular failure for example because of myocardial in infarction i.e. heart attack or because of mitral valve stenosis leads to obstruction to flow of blood from left atrium to left ventricle and hence increases pulmonary venous pressure and it happens when pressure in pulmonary veins rises above 25 millimeter of mercury which is osmotic pressure of plasma means at this pressure contents of plasma can easily flow through the walls of the veins. Lymphatics simply do not cope with the amount of fluid coming in from vessels. Initially fluid accumulates within interstitium of lungs and it is known as interstitial edema and then it enters into alveoli of lungs and in that case it is known as alveolar edema. Finally fluid enters into pleural cavity and is known as pleural effusion. So if you notice left claustrophrenic angle is not clearly visible and there is a small amount of pleural effusion in left claustrophrenic angle. Both interstitial edema and alveolar edema are identifiable on chest x-ray and they have different patterns. Normal pulmonary venous pressure is much lower than 25 millimeter of mercury. When fluid initially accumulates in uh, interstitial space, it is visible as increased linear markings. Some of the, these lines are known as curly A lines, which uh, are normally found here. 
some of these lines are known as curly B lines that are always found in bases and uh, they are horizontal lines uh, and they are nearly two centimeter long so if you look at the lung base here so you can see some horizontal lines clearly one two three four and five so these lines are known as curly B lines the vessels are never visible in this area the normal vessels and this is not a vessel this is um, these these are septae and these are visible because of the accumulation of fluid within the septae the septae get uh, bigger and become visible as curly B lines or curly A lines we do not have a good example of curly A line um, the word septa means a dividing wall and lung septae are thin layers of connective tissue which uh, hold secondary pulmonary lobules within them a secondary pulmonary lobule is simply a bunch of several alveoli which has a, a thin layer of connective tissue uh, that is known as septa clear visibility of vessels in lungs is because of difference in density as uh, the vessels uh, have blood the blood looks white and the lung tissue lung parenchyma has air which appears black on x-ray so the vessels that are white are passing through something which appears black and and this contrast of black and white shadows makes the vessels clearly stand out and clearly visible on a chest x-ray the loss of definition of small vessels in lungs in case of pulmonary edema is simply because there's the fluid around vessels and then lung tissue gets filled with uh, uh, fluid losing air and hence losing that contrast of black and white bigger vessels in hyla in this case are not visible because of one more reason all the lymphatics diverge towards hyla and these uh, have fluid uh, within them which makes the visibility of vessels difficult in acute changes such as myocardial infarction or heart attack in simple language lymphatics within interstitium do not have enough time to drain excess fluid and air spaces are quickly filled decreasing oxygen levels in blood which can often cause death often but not always in case of acute pulmonary edema you will see normal heart size one more thing to remember is that pulmonary edema can be cardiogenic or non-cardiogenic in nature and the last thing to remember from today's lesson that other conditions can create exactly similar image so history blood test echocardiography and other tests together make a diagnosis the radiologist will often report such an x-ray as bilateral diffuse consolidation rather than trying to do the job of a treating physician the other things uh, that are visible on this chest x-ray ECG wires ECG button here and here this gas is in the stomach and there is a key either in patient's pocket or hanging around the neck and the other thing that is clearly visible on this x-ray is the, the the volume of lung is not normal the lungs look larger the shape of the 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 only hemidiaphragm that is clearly visible the right hemidiaphragm 
is not dome shape so lungs have or are losing the elasticity they are bigger in volume and the uh, dome uh, the diaphragm has lost its normal uh, dome shape they are more towards the the more to, uh, like like flat uh, shape diaphragms and this is uh, probably because of uh, chronic obstructive pul pulmonary disease COPD and often you'll find the patients uh, that have COPD uh, are usually smokers so this patient might have been a smoker that would increase the chances of uh, sudden myocardial infarction and will uh, explain the acute pulmonary edema I would like to this x-ray was copied from www.redpot.org and I would like to show you a normal chest x-ray so you can compare this is uh, a normal chest x-ray uh, courtesy of Dr. Alex McLennan from UK the vessels are clearly visible dome shaped diaphragms and there are no curly B lines you can even see the smaller vessels going through the lung parenchyma